read anything about this car, you may have read that the inside of it gets very hot. But there's not really that much explanation as to why that is. If we take a peek on the inside of the door here, you can see this says, warning, hot exhaust pipe below door opening. The exhaust runs right through this body panel. In fact, we can take it off and take a look at it. Now this guy right here is your catalytic converter, and that's where all the heat comes from. It's almost as if the engineers want you to cut this off and put a straight pipe in to keep things cool on the inside. When you get up over 90 degrees outside, the car cannot cool off. You can sort of get around this by putting window tint on the car, and I could also modify the exhaust, which would result in lower temperatures running through there, keeping the cabin a little bit cooler. But I'm out here in California, so I really shouldn't do that because uh, it's illegal. Let's go take a look on the inside. We have our HVAC controls right here. We have three vents up here. You may be looking at that and saying, what good does that do? There's no, no airflow anywhere else. The engineers put an air conditioning vent in the most important place possible. They put an air conditioning vent in right down here. And the benefit of this, of course, is that you don't get sweaty balls on the racetrack. Now there's a popular saying that I hear from uh, older men, and I think older men are the type of people who are going to be buying this car. Uh, and that saying is, the only thing that my wife blows is my money and my dreams. And I think when you have an air conditioning vent aimed at your crotch, you're going to have much better chances of something positive happening. I think that this is one of the most innovative air conditioning systems that I have ever seen.